Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I built this cabinet for this wine fridge on Dad It Yourself. So you saw from the intro that I'm building a cabinet for a wine fridge. And to call this a cabinet is a gross overstatement. It's really just a box around a refrigerator so they have a place to put a small countertop. This is going to be a relatively easy and quick project using a couple of pieces of MDF, this small piece of plywood, some glue, and some 18 gauge brad nails. Hopefully you'll pick up a couple of skills or techniques while we do this project. Let's get started. So the first step on this project is I'm going to rip this piece of three-quarter inch plywood down into three inch strips and those are going to be used for the blocking on the top and the back to give this structure. Now we're going to cut these to length on the miter saw. So I'm really fortunate that these MDF sheets come in 24 by 48 and the cabinet's 24 inches deep so I just have to cut off 14 and a quarter inches. What I'm going to use is this Craig rip cut jig with a Ryobi cordless saw some hearing protection, and when you're cutting MDF, you definitely want to wear dust protection. So if you've ever looked at the edge of MDF, you know it can be pretty rough. And this is going to be a cabinet face. There is no face frame on this. So I'm going to use this edge banding just to dress up this front edge. None of the other edges will be visible. Uh, if you've never done edge banding, it's really easy. You just lay it out and iron it down. And actually, in some cases, they have self-adhesive. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about edge banding, Bob Claggett on the YouTube channel I Like to Make Stuff did a great bits video, and I'll put a link down in the description to that video. So while I'm putting this on, I'd like to talk about our sponsor, which is me. I'll have a link to this product and all the products and tools I use in this video down in the description. And by using those links and shopping on sites like Amazon and Home Depot, uh, I receive an affiliate commission, and those commissions help support Data Yourself DIY. So if you'd use those links to buy products, I'd really appreciate it, and it helps the channel out. Thanks a bunch. So once you've given the glue a chance to dry, you just have to trim off the excess. In this case, this edge band is a little bit thicker than the board. Uh, they sell different tools. You can use a block plane, a sander. I just like a straight razor blade. And what I do is just kind of dig into it, find that edge, and then just run it right along like that. And if for some reason a little bit of this edge maybe comes up or didn't glue down, just hit it with the iron again. So I have my cabinet mocked up with some clamps and some blocks to hold it in place. I have my brace right here. I'm going to put this in with glue and 18 gauge brad nails. Let's put that in.
So I'm just going to fill in these little nail holes and give it a quick sand and prep this thing for prime and paint. So I've got my Wagner Flexio 2000. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with two coats of primer and sand it if needed, and then move on to the satin white paint. So two coats of primer and two coats of bare satin white paint and this cabinet's ready to get installed. Let's go do that. So this is the spot where the old cabinet was. It was too narrow to accommodate the wine fridge that we're gonna be putting here. Um, I tried to modify that cabinet, but frankly it was just cheap particle board, uh, low end cabinet grade and as I pulled it apart, it just completely demolished. So we're going to go ahead and slide that new cabinet in here and get it mounted and then put that fridge in there. So I built this cabinet in an afternoon in my garage shop using two two by four sheets of MDF and a couple of scraps of three quarter inch plywood. The longest part of doing this project was waiting for that paint to dry. You'll notice this cabinet doesn't have a countertop on it. It's because they're coming to template for countertops tomorrow. That's why this needed to get installed today. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speak in the comments, don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you subscribe hit the bell for notification i've got some videos over here you may be interested in and the subscribe button's right over there thanks for watching dad it yourself